Charlie, you forgot that you forgot to uh, remind me again. <clears throat> okay, Sam Vito, you're all set to go. First thing I think I saw you type today, Sam Vito. It's good to see you. So, and then I will give you this. Let's go with plus. Um, I think here. Can you guys fill that in for me? Figure out that answer. Look at what I gave you. Okay, my examples. If you remember the pattern from yesterday. Tell me, uh, see if you can give me that answer there. Okay, and give me a D in chat when you think you have that answer. <clears throat> when you think you have that answer. Brandon's got her. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. That's fine. That's why we're here to teach. Well, take a look at it, Gabe. And think well, about I'm how we... attention for the foil thing yesterday, so I don't know what I'm doing here. You forgot the foil thing? Oh, you're killing me, kid. <clears throat> I know. All right. Oh, Sam Vito's got it. All right. Who wants to type in or tell me what my um, what goes inside my brackets? Either type it in or say it out loud for me. So I. Uh. Wait, Mr. O, are the first two questions already answered? Yeah. Oh, that confused me. Yeah, this here. So factoring just means this here is called a quadratic. Okay. This is what uh, a parabola, like a well, equal a parabola, is taking it from standard form and breaking it in the two sets of brackets, which is factored form. Okay. So that's what's called factoring, is going from standard form, which is this, to two sets of brackets, which is called factored form. Okay. So let's break this down of how we got this answer. So if we think about it, what makes this here? I'll redo this. Well, this term here comes from multiplying these two things together. Okay, so when you look there and you see an X and an X, I'm gonna do one down here at the exact same time. Let's make another one up. Let's make this um, 18X plus eight, okay? What makes that term, are these two terms multiplied against each other? This would be the F in our FOIL, right? So the only thing that makes X squared is X times X, right? So that's how we get this times this, okay? One second, I want to answer this. All right, so. That's how we get that. 
Or maybe I'll do those in pink. If that makes sense. So that's how we get that term is right here. It's this times this. Now the other part here is how do we get this term here is this part here, that number times that number, okay? And we reviewed that with, a, the, what we're doing here is our FOIL, right? This would be the F of FOIL, the first term times the first term. This is our L in FOIL, which is last term times last term. So if we can figure those out, right? Now, what students did here is they said, okay, what equals 32? And they thought in their head, what multiples equal 32? Well, one times 32, two times 16, how come it's not writing six? Uh, four times eight, and those are the only numbers that multiply to equal 32. Now you know that the very last term, this term is made up of this, which is 8x, plus this, which is 4x. This is 8x plus 4x. So students look and say, OK, what two things, what two of these, and I know these are going to add up to each other, what two of these add up the equal 12? And the only ones that you can add up to equal 12 is the 4 and the 8. Now, in this case, with the 80, right? Oops, let me go back here. So things that multiply to 80. 1 times 80, 2 times 40, uh, 3 times something, no, 4 times, 4 times 20. Uh, 5 times 16, I think that's it. Oh, 8 times 10. Okay. So we need to pick which one of these you can also add to make 18, which is going to be this one. So that's how we know what numbers go into here and here. And since they're both plus and plus, we're just going to put pluses in between there. For people who could not figure that out, does that kind of long explanation help you out? So essentially, the two back numbers here, the purple numbers, multiply to make this number, but they also add to make this number here. Gabe, does that help you out how to figure that out? Okay, so the back two numbers that will be shown added together are the third are the third number, are no. well times together are the third number, right? And then yeah. the and then the second one is just them added together. Correct. Then you just put you don't even have to put a first number really. You just put xx for that. Xx for right now, yeah. For right now, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay, and the way you can check this is now I know that eight times ten equals eighty. And x times x equals this. And the way you check your middle is you go, what's 8 times x is 8x? What's 10 times x is 10x? And what do those equal add together? 18x. And therefore, look at these are matching, right? Therefore, I got the right numbers set in there. Yeah, Dominic, it's essentially backwards from yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a whole bunch on here until we're rocking and rolling. And then I'll start switching up signs. Oops. Okay. And then once I start switching up signs, that's where we'll have to do some more thinking. Um, let's start with. Okay. So I'll give you 30 seconds. Type your answer in chat right now. And then tell me what you think the answer is going to be here. Knowing that 
two numbers are going to multiply to equal this, right? This one's pretty easy to figure out right now. Then you can do your checks as well. This times this plus this times this. Okay. Does anyone want some more time or are we good to go? And don't be afraid to use your calculators to kind of play with the numbers. Okay, on the count of five, type, uh, press enter in chat. I want to see you have. One, two, three, four, five, and go. Oh, I don't see any answers right now. But not give you enough time, or we still need time to practice this? Hey, Mr. Rowe, I got to restart my uh, Microsoft Teams. It's really buggy, and I can't see your screen. OK, no problem. OK, Brandon got x plus 7 and x plus 7. How do we feel about that? Oops. X plus 7, x plus 7. OK, so. 7 times 7 equals 49, perfect. x times x, x times x equals x squared. And if we do our check, 7 times x, 7x, 7x, which equals 14x, perfect. OK, let's do another one. Oops, very sad. I want that to be 7x plus 12. Okay, write a D in chat when uh, you're done. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Write D in chat when you have this question done. when you think you have the brackets done. So these two numbers should multiply to make this one. These two are going to uh, multiply to make that one. And these guys are going to add to make the middle one. OK, who wants to write in chat for me? Four and three, four and three. Very good. So x plus four, x plus three. So four times three equals 12. I agree with that. x times x equals that. Now, if I do my check here, four times x is 4x. Hey, Ben, there's no profanity in the chat, man. That's effed up. Perfect. All right. This is easy. Let's do another one. Now, the nice way, the way I'm teaching it is going to make it a lot easier to do the later ones, too. Like, tomorrow's are going to get tougher, but it's the same process. Um, let's go with... Um, There you go. Do that one. Give me a give me a G in chat when you have it. So I kind of gauge everyone. Oh, 
Jeez, you're not supposed to give me the answer yet. Five and six, baby, all day long. I know it's five and six, but I want other people to see it first. <clears throat> okay. So if we double check, five times six equals 30. Does it matter what order you have it in? No. Okay. Maybe six and five, same difference. True. Right. Let me check, Ben. Perfect. All right. We'll do one more easy one, then I'm going to start making it a little harder. Just type D in chat when you're done. <clears throat> No kicking other people, Gabriel. Okay. I didn't kick him the second time. I swear I didn't kick him the second time. No kicking him, okay? Or you will be removed from the class. Got it? So I no kicking other time. people. Um, okay. Who wants to give me, uh, what was that? Okay, nine and eight. Ooh, we have 9 and 8, 8 and 12. So let's take a look at these. Okay. So let's do x plus uh, 9, x plus 8. Then we can also do x plus 8 and x plus 12. No, I meant to say 9 and 8. 9 and 8? Okay. But even so, let's, let's pretend we didn't hear it. This is where you can check it, right? Where 8 times 12 is not 72. So you can kind of do your own checks. Like as I'm doing this, this is me checking it, right? So that times that equals that. Then you do your addition part. This times this equals 9x. This is 8x. That, if you add those up, equals 17x. So we have that. And these two times together equal that. Perfect. Now I'm going to change it up just a little bit on you this time. Same concepts apply, OK? Um, do you want me to walk you through this one first? You, let's no, take a shot at it first. So put uh, D in the chat if you have it. Okay, take a I shot at this one. No, recognize I changed something up here. So I can try, the, baby. So press D in the chat. If you're done, I want you to see if you can do it. Same concepts apply. This times this is going to equal this, right? This times this equals this. And then these guys added up equal that. Okay? Same concepts. Okay, who wants to give me an answer here? Type in and chatter, tell me what you think the answer is right now. What do you think we got here? Ben, answer the question, dude. Who's got my answer? For you, dude. Come on. I could be completely wrong, but I think it's five and negative five. 
Hmm. Let's try it. Positive five and negative five. Okay. Well, x times x equals x squared. But five times five is not equal twenty. So, just so that's wrong. It was five and four. Sorry. Oh, five and four. Okay. Yeah. Five and four. Okay. That equals negative twenty. Good. Now let's do our checks. Five times five x is five times five. Five times x is five x. X times negative four is negative four x. That's just going to equal x. Those don't equal each other now, right? So that can't work. Who else has some new numbers here? So five and four don't work. We could write out all of our multiples of 20. Okay. Is there any of these that we can combine to get the 10? Oh, Farley, I highly disagree. What if we wrote in? Oh, I might have did this wrong. Oh, shoot. I gave you the wrong. My fault. I made a wrong question. There. Do that one. I gave you a wrong question. I made up a, a wrong question. I had something in my head and I made a wrong question. Okay. I apologize for that one. So how about this one? Very good. 10 and negative 2. Right? Uh, which one's going to be positive? The 10 are, are good. 10 and 2. They multiply to make negative 20. And they add together to make 8. OK? Let's do another one. Oh, you were setting me up for failure, man. I apologize. I, um, There you go. Every time you factor, you should do this, like my blue line checks. I want you to do those checks. Brandon's done, Farley's done. Okay, who wants to give me my numbers? Positive 12 and negative 4. Positive 12. Minus 4. So 4 times 12, 48. Negative 48, good. X times X equals X squared. And let's do the middle checks. 12 times X is 12X. X times negative 4, negative 4X. Add those together, and I'm going to get 8X. Okay? Here. How do we feel about this so far? Because I hear from, like... A, a four or five kids right now, but I don't hear from that many. Out of five, five being like, I understand it. One being, I don't understand it. How do we feel right now about this? Okay. Okay, that's good. It's going to get hard, not going to get harder. But when I put negatives in there, 
it takes a little while to think about, oh, I'm adding them to get this now. OK, so let's keep practicing some. How about this one? Oops. Let's go. X squared minus. 4X. Um, minus 12. Does that work? Yes. OK, press D in chat when you have it. And these checks I'm doing right now may seem very foolish, but when we start to do harder ones, uh, like with tomorrow, we're going to do numbers like this with numbers in front of the the x squared, and that's where kind of the checks come in. All right. Does anyone else have it besides Brandon? Dominic says negative two and six. Let's try that. Negative two and positive six. Oh, sorry. I misread that. So two times negative six is negative 12. X times X is X squared. And if I do my checks, this equals two X. This is negative six X. Add those together, I'm gonna get negative four X. Very good. This is where last night's, uh, does anyone recognize that last night's assignment is helping you now realize, oh, if I have a negative there, which one's positive, which one's negative? Is that helping you at all? Okay. That was the purpose of that assignment, is to help you realize what signs go where and think it through. So let me do another one. Let's go x squared minus 10x um, minus 39. Yeah, I like that one. Those two lines at the wrong color. <clears throat> and if you look here of the checks I'm doing, this is foil. This is my L. This is my F. And these two are my I and my O checks. So I'm kind of doing foil, but we're just not writing it out. Okay. Who else? I don't want to hear from Dominic or Brandon. Someone who hasn't given me an answer yet. Can you write this one down for me? Dominic, I said not from you. Okay, Dominic has the right numbers, but here's my question. Which one's positive, which one's negative? Now, Brandon, I said not for you either. I said not Brandon or not Dominic. So negative 13 and positive three. <clears throat> So if you look here, what's happening, when you have a negative sign in the middle, that means the larger number of these two is going to be negative. So 3x plus negative 13x is negative 10x. Good, we have a check there. 3 times 13, we have a check here. And x times x, check there. Good. 
How about this one? Oh, it's 136 already. Um, time flies, you're having fun. Uh, minus Press D when you have the answer, if you got it. No Farley, no Dominic, no Brandon. I want someone else to give me my answer for this one. Same concept still applies. Two numbers that multiply to make the last number, multiply to make the X squared. Then when you add them up, you're going to get the middle term. If you have the answer and you're not one of those three individuals, you can type it in chat. All right, I saw lots of people with fives earlier. Oh, Haley says negative two and negative eight. Do we agree with Haley? And Olivia, x minus 2, x minus 8. So x times x is x squared, good. Negative 2 times negative 8 equals positive 16, good. And if we double check here, negative 2x, negative 8x, negative 10x, check, check. Good. All right. Um, here, do this quick little survey thing so I can kind of gauge how everyone's doing on this. Does anyone need the QR code? Yes or no? Or is chat okay with that? Oh, Olivia's same veto and uh, and what's the other one? Mueller. You guys put whoever did not uh, whoever has not did it put their uh, initial behind it so I know who's who. Thank you, Andreas. Okay. You gave me a five already, right? Oh, Dominic, you need a QR code. Don't worry, Dominic, I know where you are. Okay. And Abigail, am I right to assume you're number five right now with this? Or what's your number on it? Okay. Well, that's good. We have no, no clues, which is good. So, this is our factoring for today, okay? Just going through, we probably did more questions right here in all honesty than your homework, okay? Your homework tonight for this part is, if I go to week two, Tuesday practice, if you do question two and just work your way through these, what's that, eight questions, right? If you know those eight questions, you're, you're good to go, okay? Same concept we did before, two numbers that multiply to equal the last term, right? Two numbers that multiply to equal the first term, and then this is made up of the addition of these terms. Okay. Here's what I would say right now. If you're good to go, like if you answered this as in got it, you guys go complete your homework. Don't leave right now. I have something to add. 
if you're in the working on it, hang around. We can work together on some more ones, just to practice. Okay. Um, for tonight, you have a check-in. And I'd love for someone to do this right now for me so I know that's working. Okay. I put a, uh, a quiz in your D2L page. Yeah, that's fine, Riley. Um, I'll put a quiz in your D2L page. So I'll show you where to find it right now, but I want to make sure it's working for you guys. Um, so go to D2L. You guys all know how to do this. And the quiz is two questions. It should take a couple minutes. That's all the quiz is. It's two questions just to make sure. Yeah, is the check is the quiz today. So if you go to content library, if you go to content up here, week two check-in, and it should have a May 4th quiz, which should be visible. There you go. It should be visible. And then you go to the quiz, and there's uh, your questions won't match the next person, but they should be... Uh, uh, the same concepts, but they're just different questions. I think I randomized it. So if you click on it and your friend clicks on it, there are probably going to be different questions. But if someone could go do that right now to make sure 